Primera. This is IEB November 2022, paper two. And I'll be doing question one of the paper two. However, for question one, I'll just be focusing on creditors payment schedule. And for the for you to prepare the creditors payment schedule, the only information that relates to it will be this part. And this is all you will be given together with this in the answer book. In the information booklet, the only information that you will use to complete that creditors payment schedule for November 2022 will be this additional information. We are told that all ink and toner is bought from ink solution on credit. The amount bought varies from month to month. Ink solution is repaid as follows. 60% is paid in the month following the purchase to receive 5% discount. 25% is paid two months following the purchase to receive 2% discount. And 15% is paid in the third month following the purchase. We have to use that to answer these questions here to complete all the amounts indicated with a star. I will start by calculating the first star, but when I calculate the first star, I'll start with October. For October 2022, I am given credit purchases amounting to 11,000. I was told that ink and toner cost for the month, 11,000. That column simply is the cost price of your credit purchases. Only credit purchases will be recorded in the creditor's payment schedule. The month following October is November. And for credit purchases for October, we are given 11,000 rand. Yet we are told that if we pay in the month following the purchase, we will pay 60% and receive a discount of 5%. So of the 11,000 rand, note that they said 60% is paid in the month following the purchase. The month following October purchase will be November. That 11,000, 60% of it will be paid in November. But of whatever will be paid in November, we are not going to pay the full 60%. We are only going to pay 95% of 50%. I need you to not multiply 11,000 by 55. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Because when you do that, you're saying that, only 95% of, I mean, only 55% of October purchases will be paid in November. And that is incorrect. It is actually 60% that will be paid in November. But of the 60%, we are only going to pay 5%, I mean, 95% of it. So of the amount that will be paid in November, we are going to pay 95% of it. So that it's 60, it's 95% of 60%. All right. I am going to take that 11,000, multiply it by 60%, and then multiply it by 95%. It'll give me the value of payments that will be made in November from October credit purchases. And that will be 6,270. That's it. 
Now, let's get to September. For September, I'm only giving collection in November. Now, here you have to work backwards. So, September means 60% will be paid in October. 25% will be paid in November. So, that's where we are. It basically means that that 2,646, it is the 25%. If I had credit purchases for September and I multiply them by 25% and I multiply them by 98%, why do I multiply them by 98%? It is because we were told that we will receive 2% discount because November payment it means that we paid two months after the credit purchase, after these goods were bought on credit. Two months after these goods were bought on credit. Two months after the credit purchase. And that's why we will qualify for 2% trade discount. And when I take credit purchases and I multiply them by 25%, and then multiply them by 98%, I am supposed to get 2,646. But I want my credit purchases. So I am going to divide both sides by that 25% times 98%. So when you take that 2,646, and divide it by 25% multiplied by 98%. 2646 divided by 25% multiplied by 98%. It will give me 10,800. And those will be September credit purchases. I am going to, because I don't have any other information, especially for August, I am going to calculate this first star here. For me to calculate that first star, I'll just call it X. If I take that first star and I add it with 2,640, six and I add it with 6,270, I should get 10,446. Now to get the value of X, I'm simply going to take the other values to the right hand side. On the right hand side of the equal sign, I will have 10,446 minus 2,646 minus 6,270, and that will give me the value of x, which will be 1,530. Once I get that 1,530, I am going to work backwards. If I bought goods on credit in August, 60% of those goods will be paid in September. 25% of those goods will be paid in October and 15% of those goods will be paid in November. That 1,530, it is the 15%. To get credit sales, credit sales when it comes to payments will be at 100%. I will take that 1,530 and multiply it by 100, then divide it by 15%. You multiply by what you want, you divide by what you have. 
Now, to ease your confusion, I did it exactly the same way as when I calculated at 10,800. I will say credit sales for August when I multiply them by 15%, they're supposed to give me 1,530. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 15%. When you take 1,530 and divide it by 15%, One thousand five thirty divided by zero comma one five, or you can just write it as fifteen percent. It'll give you ten thousand two hundred, and that ten thousand two hundred will be your credit purchases for August. That's it. Four marks. Easy like that. That's it from me. Until the next video. Hotzom.